Funny story, so I'm actually on the Mid-Atlantic BDR, not the Idaho BDR currently. Uh, but what I realized when I was editing this video from a few months ago was that I never did an introduction. So this is me on the Mid-Atlantic BDR doing an introduction for myself on the Idaho BDR. Idaho has so much to offer in terms of vast wilderness, beautiful mountain ranges, pristine water, waterfalls, wildlife, seemingly never-ending rugged gravel, dirt, roads, two-track, it's just incredible. It was a big challenge for me and I felt really good on the other side of it. Now I did half of this route or a little more than half of it alone and then I met up with a friend of mine, Cody, which I'll get into in another episode. Now I'm gonna show you a few of the highlights of the BDR, the entire trip, uh, before we jump into this video. Stick around. I dare you dig a little deeper It makes you feel a little stronger what you may find you'll see in your own time it might just take a little longer it all goes by so slowly Ooh, you waited your whole life your days turn into nights now let the rain... if you don't know what bdr is it's backcountry discovery route basically it's a cross state route it gets you across a state on primarily dirt and gravel roads. So this is the Idaho BDR. This has been on my bucket list for a really long time. I've said it many times, I know. I would change my ways, I know for sure. When all the crows decide to meet They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little while I can't believe I'm finally here. I've wanted to do this route for years. I, and I've never actually seen the video that they did on it. I've only ever seen uh, like the trailer for it. And that alone was enough to just get me really excited about it. And I didn't want to ruin the surprise, so I didn't watch the DVD. I didn't want to know exactly what I was getting into. So I just bought the map and downloaded the GPS tracks. I didn't really do any research. Um, and, you know, maybe I'll pay for that, but I think also there's a benefit to be had from that. I think it adds to the adventure. This view. I just can't even believe it. my water bottles. <laughs> Shoot. I was thinking when I get off, I was like, wow, the water bottle I had on top was still there. That was the one I thought was going to go. Well, good thing this was an in and out, out and back, because I, I would have missed these. Yeah, I, I figured this one would have been the one to go. Not these, these are usually in there pretty good.
just rained. Uh, it just stopped a little while ago. Uh, the, the sound of the rain on the tent just woke me up. It was pretty early. This is earlier than I've been getting up. I decided instead of falling back to sleep, I'm gonna get up and take a take a longer day by starting a little earlier. I have a feeling everything's gonna be really wet. It's kind of a pain. But pretty excited though. Uh, I mean, yesterday was pretty awesome, so I'm just I'm excited to see what today is gonna bring. Dare you dig a little deeper It makes you feel a little stronger Who knows what you may find You'll see in your own time It might just take a little longer It all goes by so slowly Ooh, you waited your whole life Your days turn into night There you run a little faster One step, you are on your way now Embrace all your weakness Therein lies the secret The water's never gonna drain out It all goes by so slowly Well, finally happened First one Pretty insignificant My leg almost got stuck under the bike of course the camera wasn't rolling. Let's see if we can get this up. about lunchtime. It's actually a little bit after lunchtime. I'm pretty hungry. Uh, so I'm gonna make something to eat and I'm also due for a nap. I am pretty whooped. Uh, I've done about 130 miles of dirt without really stopping all that much. Uh, not that it was very technical or difficult. Uh, that just adds up. Uh, it's a lot of... It's a lot different than the pavement. But what a blast though. I mean the scenery just doesn't quit. It's pretty incredible. I 
I'm gonna wrap this video up here, part one of the Idaho BDR adventure. So in the next episode, part two of my Idaho BDR adventure, some pretty exciting stuff coming up. So uh, make sure you check that out when it comes out. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed coming along for the ride. That was a lot of fun. I gotta, I gotta take a snooze. I'm getting real tired, so I'm gonna try to chip away at a little bit more of the uh, next section. I'm pretty much about five miles out from the end of section seven. So I'm gonna try to get into section six a little bit today, uh, and that will be in the next video. We'll pretty much pick up exactly where we're leaving off. So I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching. Ride safe.